गुड इवनिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू समथिंग अबाउट हेल्थ व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ uh it is our first and foremost duty to keep ourselves healthy if we keep ourselves healthy going fit as ever and as far as possible we live longer and by the way i must tell you that anybody who's living and working what does he spend on himself any individual is working for others who's working is working for others his family for the society his children relatives and friends because a person can only eat two or three square meals a day but by the way i may tell you that it is the responsibility of every individual it is priority or her priority to work for others and which we are doing as a matter of fact most of us most of us work for families so how to keep ourselves fit i am talking about a normal person so one of the things is that we must get ourselves investigated frequently particularly after the age of 40 you see after 40 years of age the things change dramatically our body functions you know start become sluggish and start deteriorating so one must have a general check up and investigations and uh, you know there are principal diseases which one contracts in life because of lifestyle lifestyle means eating habits and uh, habits pertaining to our body activities physical activities meaning thereby that a person who has no control on his eating and a person who is not used to do exercises or walking etc these are the victims you see the lifestyle has to be such one has to be very active in life physically and mentally also and socially also and one should do everything in moderation excess of everything is bad for life and for others also so first of all let us discuss you know i would like to go not on the negative side but i'd like to warn you what generally we should avoid and we should not do and what we should not eat and uh, let me tell you before i start on this topic one must know that what should be what are the diseases we generally get because of uh, aging process one of the diabetes mellitus that is maturity on the diabetes that the diabetes which occurs in middle aged and uh, in a late stage middle stage of life or even in extreme of the age one may become diabetic so a diabetic is a person who has got a high blood sugar level and there is insulin resistance because of diverse reasons and uh, normal blood sugar level you know the fasting that is on empty stomach it should be it should not exceed more than 104 mg per cent and pp that means post prandial after food that is if you check our blood pressure after taking food two after two hours after that it should in any case should not increase beyond 140 mg if your blood sugar level you know uh, fasting blood sugar level is uh, less than 124 but more than 104 107 mg percent that means you are hyperglycemic that is a pre diabetic state and your blood sugar level random at any stage if it is more than 200 that means you are diabetic you are diabetic and it requires attention so a person may also become hypertensive and in males there is a prostatic enlargement you know prostate starts increasing after 40 45 years and thereafter a person may start having you know urinary complaints of diverse reasons which is uh, beyond the scope of my this uh, brief talk because i'll focus on two or three things that is what we should not eat what we should eat and uh, what we should do so first and foremost thing i would like to advise you what we should not do is that we are very fond of sweets we call it sweet tooth and everybody you know likes eating so therefore we should avoid too much of sugary drinks you know what we have in uh, the market we should uh, avoid you know um, what we call pizza etc with deep fried food because increases the 
calories, very dense in calories and uh, it adds to our uh, weight also if you keep on eating it, obesity, then you must not eat white bread and uh, well, uh, we should generally avoid going out almost every day or it, it's all right that once goes, when somebody goes out to a restaurant and eat out once in a month or so, it's perfectly all right, but frequently we shouldn't go. We shouldn't be eating processed and uh, grilled food. We should not eat stale food. Let me tell you about animal proteins. Animal proteins, you know, like meat, etc. Um, it does contain a lot of uh, proteins, no doubt about it, but you know, it is conceptualized. It is proved beyond doubt that those who are non-vegetarians and eat too much of meat, they are likely candidates for diabetes mellitus or number one. And uh, they are candidates for colonic cancer and various kinds of cancer because those people who are non-vegetarian, they are generally constipated <coughs> because meat doesn't have a high fiber content and therefore the stool or uh, you know, end products stay in your colon, colon for a little longer time. And the carcinogens which are there in the animal proteins, they have more time for interaction with colonic mucosa. And therefore, a person is likely to have a carcinoma of the colon. I'm talking about those people who are taking too much of meat. Then what we should not do is, which is, you know, a lifestyle kind of a partner, uh, problem and which is a habit. Habit, you know, any bad habit uh, for that matter is a perversion. Now, cigarette smoking is not a necessity in life. And a person, you know, who smokes too much, say, you know, there's a pack index and smoking index and things like that. Smoking is an extremely harmful habit. You know, the smoke, it causes cancer of the lung, bronchogenic carcinoma. And 90 to 95% of the patients who have lung cancer, they had been former smokers or smokers. Smoking affects your circulation. You know, a person may get gangrene of the feet, the circulation, there's an inflammation inside the blood vessel, the circulation is poor. It may cause, you know, coronary artery disease, a heart disease, and smokers are candidates for heart attacks. Then smokers are also candidates for all kinds of cancers, including urinary bladder cancers, unitrack cancers. The smokers, the smoking is combined generally, you know, a person who is drinking he is get he is used to smoking also. This this is a very deadly combination. So that fellow is likely candidate for carcinoma of all sorts. You know, cigar smokers, pipe smokers, the lips become hot and there is a constant irritation, right from cancer of the lip to cancer of the throat and cancer of the esophagus. You are food by, they are candidates for, uh, this thing, uh, cancer of the stomach also. Besides other kind of cancers. And uh, the persons who are taking, you know, alcoholic drinks, the alcohol, too much of it, you know, it gets metabolized into very harmful product, uh, this thing, acetaldehyde. And liquor, alcohol, once it is taken, it gets dissipated from the stomach, it gets absorbed very quite early. And then it affects our liver also, it causes hepatotoxicity, liver damage. Person may go into cirrhosis subsequently, then he starts vomiting, blood vomiting, things like that. Dreadful thing. Alcohol is a CNS, uh, this thing, what do you call it, depressant. And uh, it may cause cerebral atrophy also, you know, those degenerative kind of problems. And alcohol may cause gastritis also, then there are psychological effects. It affects your pocket also. The family life is disturbed. Children are affected, they feel very bad, small children psychologically get depressed. You know, your papa is uh, drinking and smoking and he's not able to pay attention to the family. And besides that, you know, it causes, you know, uh, alcohol drinkers, they are not good at work. They're inefficient and they're fired also. So you imagine what are the, you know, price the family and the individual has to pay for this. And besides that, you know, a person, you know, he does not sleep. He becomes irritable. He is having anxiety. He has got tremors and so many things. So therefore, I don't say that a person should not drink. Most often we drink and uh, it should be a good quality alcohol. 
should not be a, a you know mixed with soda like that and there you know with alcohol if you want to have you can take two small drinks two small drinks every day or so and uh, in any case it should not exceed more than one bottle of whiskey or whatever it is 750 ml 50 ml 750 ml it should uh, last for at least a month one bottle of whiskey should last a month and preferably you know if you one can help one should uh, not drink uh, more than once in a week and the uh, other thing which i want to tell you in our indian scenario the people are in the habit of chewing pan and tobacco and things like that and spitting also besides spitting causes airborne diseases it spoils the places it's a very unhealthy practice it uh, looks bad also and nobody likes a person who's you know eating something and the spit is coming out and this red kind of thing is splashed over the walls and things like that making the place dirty it causes cancer gastritis all sort of uh, problems particularly the oral cancers which are notorious then uh, what i want to say is that uh, um, generally one should avoid stale food and smoked meat you know this kind of smoked meat is generally used in high altitude and causes you know carcinoma of the stomach which is quite common esophageal cancer and uh, carcinoma of the stomach is caused by smoked and improperly cooked food so one should generally avoid it and what one should eat the diet should be very simple there should be no indulgence you know so that you know a person gains weight becomes obese and uh, they are candidates for diabetes also so basically what i mean to say is that breakfast you, you should have say avoid the white bread whole grain bread should be used two or three slices whatever you want you can have milk you can have eggs poultry products and you can have a, you know a slight thin sheet of uh, jam and the butter and you can also add porridge to it and have a cup of uh, tea or coffee coffee contains caffeine if taken in uh, moderate doses caffeine is good for health but in excess amount again it causes you know those uh, neuropsychiatric type of symptoms the lack of sleep and uh, irritability and nervousness and things like that then you must have you know in breakfast i'm talking about fresh fruits you have got apples you have bananas generally a person should have one apple a day two bananas and uh, citrus fruits also and you can have uh, berries and seasonal fruits like you know uh, mangoes and uh, besides that one must have dry fruits which are antioxidants you can have four to five elements you can have uh, nuts walnuts and uh, besides that uh, you may have you know uh, if you like so uh blueberries what i said then uh, after breakfast and before lunch you can have a you know few slices of fruits of uh, apple in particular one apple a day keeps the doctor away no doubt about it and uh, lunch you know whatever is what geographical region you live uh, one should be moderate with the lunch generally kindly avoid deep fried food you can have whole uh, grain uh, breads or what we call chapatis here uh, one small uh, cup of uh, this thing uh, steamed boiled rice you can have legumes or dals one vegetable and you can have yogurt which is very rich in probiotics it keeps you fit and uh, you know you can have uh, very small if you want bakery products you can have just one very small uh, small piece of cookie or something like that and uh, generally avoid snacks then comes your evening tea cup of tea with the uh, uh, two or three biscuits and evening also as per your choice have uh, dinner of same thing whole grain bread uh, legumes vegetables 
and if you're a non-vegetarian you can have fish it contains three uh, omega-3 fatty acids which is good and uh, you can have uh, you know a glass of milk also so the body generally appreciates that uh, one person should not uh, eat excessively and keep on checking your uh, uh, weight too and uh, as far as your uh, physical exercises are concerned the person must walk at least uh, four to five kilometers a day these this is a part of aerobic activities if you do you know gymnastics or you go to the gyms well it may streamline your uh, structure and but uh, it cannot uh, spend that kind of a uh, calorie what you would be spending by walking outdoors in a fresh air or things like that of course you can meditate yourself you can do uh, you can play games also those who are in elderly age group they should pick up games like you know the very best of the game for all seasons for all ages in, even um, you know when the weather is not so good uh, golfing is a very good game volleyball is a good game football is a very good game you know where you spend the other thing even you can have a small table tennis uh, um, game in your home if you've got a spacious house and table tennis is good, badminton is good. What I mean to say the physical exercises, because once you do the physical exercises, you see there is a, a less, you know, you don't have hyperglycemia. There's not much of sugar and uh, it avoids insulin resistance. If there's insulin resistance because of uh, sedentary lifestyle and overeating and things like that, the person may become diabetic. Avoid excess of salt also. One should avoid excess of salt. And uh, besides this, it is very important for each one of us to do breathing exercises. Breathing exercises, is, uh, it uh, improves your uh, circulation and uh, it improves your oxygenation. It improves your uh, air passages. So breathing exercises should be done, say, in, if you become conscious about it, so every one hour you should take uh, 15 to 20 deep breaths. Close one nostril like this. Exhale from the other side. So if you are doing these exercises in all probability your nasal passages will be clear and you will be able to sleep quite all right during the night but sometimes some people who are obese people they have difficulty in breathing this is called you know suddenly they'll get up there's a sleep apnea and they require some support of your uh, gadgetry so that you may breathe smoothly and finally I would like to say is that rest is a very important part of the life uh, life is very busy most often particularly in younger age and we do not get chance to have a nap in the afternoon but at least during the nights, one must sleep, I believe, not less than seven hours a day. Saturday and Sunday is free for you. And uh, the other thing which I'd like to tell you is that keep yourself engaged in some kind of activity. The other kind of activity is uh, life is too long to say that I didn't have the time. And it's too short also to perform each and every activity of life and to do something what you like in life, you know. At the fact end of the day, you feel, you miss, you have regrets that, oh, I wish I would have... I would have learned uh, how playing harmonia or a guitar or a uh, banjo or a, what you call it, drums or a saxophone or things like that. So engage yourself in activities. It's never too late. You can become a musician or a singer at any age and pick up a habit, you know, either do photography, go outdoors, talk to the people, have a good social life, be cheerful, don't be upset, look after others, talk to others. Wherever possible, help others, particularly the poor people. Whenever you come across, I generally keep in my pocket something to eat. Say, I take bananas outside when I drive out. And if I get a chance, you know, and somebody's asking for that, I definitely help somebody. If you have something with you, only then you can help. If you don't have anything, you cannot do any damn to anybody. So therefore, kindly, do something for others. It will make you cheerful, happy, and you will live long with the blessings and prayers of the people whom you are helping. Thank you very much and let God bless us all.